Hey friends, it's Akadiris. So today has been a pretty long wait for me to make this video, but I'm super excited to announce that recently I was able to graduate from Japanese school. <laughs> So I was in Japanese school for a little over two years. I attended Yokohama Design College and two years is I think kind of like the average for a full term. It was time, but I'm really bittersweet that I left because I made a lot of really great friends and I learned a lot about the culture and I learned a lot about just the school life in Japan. And most importantly, I learned a lot of Japanese. I didn't come out fluently, but I learned a lot more than I thought I would. It was still really impressive of what I was able to grasp, given the fact that I was still doing YouTube at the same time. And as far as the language goes, right, so... Did I say that right? I hope I did. Again, I still learned a lot more Japanese than I ever thought I would before I came to the school. And given all of that, I think I still came out okay. Just to make my point across, this isn't planned. I'm just gonna go try to speak to Joey in Japanese. Hi, B. Hey, Nani. Can you speak Japanese now? Yes, I can. When <laughs> if you are in a position where you're living alone and you have just a Japanese job or you know you have to take the JLPT, obviously you are going to study a lot, which is going to push you to learn the language a lot more. you see, like, that wasn't even perfect, but he knows what I'm trying to say. I think you undervalue how much you actually know Japanese, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> うん、絵の2ぐらいだと思うよ。だって別に本当に。でも病院にいるのうちにあの、あ、もう病院は違うじゃん。病院は俺でも難しい。まあ、文法はちょっとね。うん。いや、いいな。ニーズベロワーク。
then I made another one saying a day in the life of Japanese school when uh, I was just saying that I was just visiting for a day, but actually throughout all of that, the, the lie just became thinner and thinner where I was like, is anyone even gonna believe that I'm not in school? But it doesn't matter because overall it was fine and I made a lot of friends and a lot of people actually enrolled through those videos, which was crazy. And a lot of those people actually ended up being some of your really good friends. What I really liked about this school, and I don't know what it's like for others, but this school in particular had a lot of events. Like, I mean, a lot. So for example, they had culture festivals, they had sports days, which is when you all get into like teams. I made a video on that. And they had open classes. You can join clubs, you have to clean the classroom. So it's all those tropes that I would see in like anime. And I know I feel and sound like a weeb by saying this, but I really did get to live like the anime school life, even for just a brief moment. Because even though it's not a high school, they had a lot of elements of Japanese high school, which was great. I think some of the hardest studyings that we ever had was reading, which you are literally given like a passage or a story to read, and then you have to answer questions about that story, and then you're timed. But I think what really helped me with Japanese was just literally trying to just surround myself around Japanese and pushing myself to just try and get the words out as much as I could. Doing volleyball was a great way because playing a sport in another language is something that's pretty stressful. But then it kind of became this really fun challenge for me. We even had to do like plays. I even entered like a karaoke contest. There was a lot of things that I did that I'd made no content on that I just did because I just felt like it. And I did it because I just wanted to experience having fun in school and just doing it while I could, while I still attended, because there's no way I'm going to participate in a karaoke contest again. There's friends that I have that are in the N1 who are constantly learning new stuff just by casually talking to people. It doesn't start and stop at the school. It very much continues before and after. It's just very synonymous with how you learn your native language, just surrounding yourself around friends, family, and media that is just in that language and just absorbing it just really helps. And I think that's why I think I've been able to understand a lot of Japanese that's around me to a point that I wish I didn't understand some of what people are saying. So the big question that everyone has for me now is, now what? <laughs> now that I'm done with school, am I just done? No, I don't think so because language doesn't start nor stop with language school. Language is all about just consuming and talking. But I think one of the biggest struggles for me in school was balancing my job with school. And it was really difficult because losing just one day of school is a lot of study because I went three hours a day every day. And there was a point that I was gone for a month and that's a lot of time that I just couldn't keep up with anymore. But now I'm at a point where I was given an opportunity where I can self-study, but have someone explain things to me now. And that's going to lead to the sponsor of this video, Gogo Nihon, who are my friends as well that were really excited for me when I graduated and wanted to help me continue my studies through their service, which I'm gonna share with you guys here today. For those of you that have ever wanted to live and study in Japan, I'm sure that many of you have considered going to language school, but don't know where to start. So Gogo Nihon is a free service that selects and partners with the best language schools all over Japan. It was founded by students and created for students. And Gogo Nihon has over 14 years of experience helping over 11,000 people to live and study in Japan. They offer the most up-to-date information about Japan, schools, and accommodation options and immigration rules, along with continued support to ensure that the students have all the information that they need to make the best choice for them. Gogo Nihon also offers support in seven languages, including English, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, German, French, and Swedish. They are student visa application experts and can recommend the language school that best fits your goals and needs, all in your native language. And again, the best part is that Gogo Nihon is a completely free service. They receive a small commission from the partnered language schools, but will never charge the students. So whether you go to the school directly or go through Gogo Nihon, the price is the same. And furthermore, Gogo Nihon brings Japan's best language school curriculums to students by desktop or mobile devices all 
all around the world with their online courses created in collaboration with experienced teachers and Japanese experts. And this is exactly the service that I hope to be utilizing now that I'm graduated. If you guys would like to learn more about their service, feel free by following them in the link in the description below. So yes, as of today, I officially do not attend YDC anymore. And you guys are going to be looking at the other videos being like, this girl was lying the whole time. I know. But again, I think most people understand why to keep things on the download just for privacy reasons. And as long as I'm living in Japan, I really hope that I'll continue to practice my Japanese and have more opportunities in the future. But I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.